You're not recording now. I am recording all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very appreciative for everything at RTS, especially just um, Dr. Hurley and Dr. R and Barb and their work over at the clinic and, and the way that they trained us. And I can't tell you how appreciative I am of them. They have taught me so much and I've learned more about myself in the last two years than I've learned probably in my entire life. And so I just wanted to say thank you. Do you want me to look at the camera? Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, okay. Hold on, no, let, me, let me think for a second before you start hitting. <laughs> I remember when I came to my first semester at RTS and I was in, uh, no, my second semester, I was in the fall, I was in Greek two and, and, I, and I approached a, a professor with a couple of students standing around him and they, they were talking English, but I didn't know what they were saying. And, uh, and I, felt, uh, I felt very uh, much on the outside looking in theologically, even as a first year student with other first year students. But as I've grown personally uh, uh, through my time at RTS, I've come to both understand uh, the importance of accurate theology uh, and, and the importance of theology applied um, to the street level, to the, to the people in the pew. And so in my time here, I, I crammed three years into six and uh, I began seminary single. I'm now married and have three children. Um, third due this October. And, uh, I have grown and changed in ways that over the last six years that I um, could not have imagined. And, uh, and I have nothing but gratitude um, for God for setting me here. Okay, and if I mess up, I can say it again. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I find it kind of hard to narrow down exactly what the best thing about being here was. So I'm going to say people, and I have three categories that, that, that fit into that. Um, first of all, my friends, because the friends that I've made here at RTS, um, I wouldn't want to live without. And secondly, um, the professors and staff over at the MFT um, are wonderful. And then thirdly, my clients, because each one has really touched my life in a very special way. RTS in two words. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best thing about RTS for me has probably been the community that they've fostered here that doesn't just care about you academically, but it uh, creates an atmosphere that cares about your spiritual nourishment and growth over your time here. And that really means a lot to me uh, individually, and I, I think it means a lot to the other students here as well. I think the most memorable aspect of um, my years here at RTS has been the, the, the staff and the faculty. Um, whenever I had anything that I needed to talk about, I always found uh, an open door. Uh, teachers were always there, ready to, to talk to you, and I think they have a real desire to, to, to see you succeed, both academically and spiritually, uh, and, and then the staff as well. Um, whenever I had any questions, I could make a phone call, and, and Kim always called me back within an hour or two at the most, uh, and that was really that's really nice and, and, and refreshing to have a faculty and staff that care uh, so much about their students. But I would say that the the most fun that I've had here was about this time last year, the weekend after graduation. Uh, me and some guys that, that I started with we decided we would rent a a fairly large inflatable slip and slide, and we spent the whole day um, sitting around running, slipping on the, on the slip and slide, hurting ourselves, and uh, we didn't get in trouble for it. That was probably the best, uh, that was the most fun that I've had here. Well, since coming to RTS, I need to start up. Can we just start up? Because I'm not oh, even yeah, looking yeah. at it. Since coming to RTS four years ago, not eight or nine, Brian Galt, my experience here has been definitely different, not the normal, typical path. Uh, first, I started in a J term way back then, and that was a little bit unusual. After getting my scheduling, all these things, uh, getting them right, uh, my daughter uh, passed away, and that set everything aside for me, and I, I uh, basically took a semester off after that, and things were not normal for me. So, but in all of it, I mean, yes, there is an academics here, they're, they're, they're great, and uh, uh, we learn a lot about ourselves, about God, but my favorite part of being here at the seminary has been the way that the faculty and staff and the others have come, and other students have come and been so supportive and gracious with me, 
and I've seen this with other people too and the way that they're flexible on things and it's just been wonderful they've really shown the love of Christ and it's not just scholarly and academic it's very personal and pastoral and that's my favorite part about being here at RTS <laughs> Just the belly so profile. Yeah. What I have learned from them, Barb, I have learned from you how to be um, completely comfortable in my skin, uh, specifically as a therapist, and um, a lot about over responsibility. Uh, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, but um, just the warmth and your sunshine presence and just the love that, that radiates from you has just been amazing. So I thank you for that. From Dr. Richardson, Probably so much that I just can't even put into words. Um, learned so much about what it's like to just be in a relationship, um, specifically in relationship with clients, and um, learned about my parts and how all my parts are welcome, which is awesome. For doctor, from Dr. Hurley, I have learned, oh man, I've learned the feeding patterns of betta fish. I've learned the mating patterns of deer. I learned how to root um, blackberry vines or blackberry bushes. I've learned why it's important to have a bat box in your garden and how it can just be really helpful. I learned how to ride a zip line at your house and while standing on the platform I learned why my body wouldn't fling itself off of the platform because of my amygdala. But mostly from you I've learned that one of the most intelligent men I've ever met is also one of the most warm, compassionate and empathetic men I've ever met. So, so much love for you guys. Uh, Hugs and love to you. Okay, David, why are you the coolest guy in seminary? Because I'm Batman. <laughs> Just so much has changed in my life because of, of my time here at RTS. Um, there were a few of my friends that, that were concerned when they heard that I was going to seminary because for so many of the relatives and friends, uh, seminary meant cemetery where your faith went to die, where you learned all the 800,000 reasons why Jesus couldn't have risen from the dead. and. Uh, that's just not the case at RTS. For myself here, uh, it's not just been academic study, it's been spiritual growth. It's been growth in my knowledge of God, my growth in understanding of theology and doctrine, not only on an intellectual level, but on a personal spiritual level. It's been watching my wife grow spiritually, it's been watching um, my marriage grow as God has challenged me through my classes uh, to be a better husband. And God has also used seminary, particularly RTS, to confirm his calling on my life in how I take what I know and apply it to God's sheep to help them to grow. I think the most important events in my seminary life that were, you know, very important and nice were, I think, sitting under the um, teaching of the great solid reform doctrine, um, just learning about um, new materials that I have never learned was very great and I'm grateful for every professor um, that has taught me through that um, and brought me to this stage. <laughs> um, and I think the second part is the community life. Um, my friends who we have shared um, tears and joys and um, struggles together. Um, that showed me a lot and taught me a lot about how Christians are supposed to be. Um, so I think those are the two things that I really enjoyed during my seminary life. Thank you! Hello everybody, my name is Barry Bouillon. I'm the resident Cajun and Anglican on campus and uh, just want you to know for the last four years I've been passionate a good time. I looked it up the other day, a lot of y'all like that show Swamp People and being from Southwest Louisiana, I think it's safe to say that I'm not related to anybody on that show. There's some people on campus that think that I might have a cousin on Swamp People. There's nobody that I know on Swamp People. At least I think so. But my mom is here tonight and my aunt, my nanny, Aunt Claire, and I'm gonna ask both of them. Four years at RTS, MFT, uh, MA, um, it's been great. Made some great, great friends. Wanna thank all the professors. Wanna thank the Eldridges and the Henrys and all the friends that we've uh, uh, made here. And I wanna thank my beautiful wife, Dawn. For these last four years, she's been very uh, sacrificial. Our marriage has grown. I want to thank my children. I love all my girls. And um, anyway, um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what was special to me my, during my time at RTS? Uh, probably not the over 40,000 pages of reading material that we had to do, but digging deeply into the Word of God, knowing what he says and uh, looking at it from different perspectives and going deeper 
uh, was a highlight of my time here. Uh, seeing the campus and all of the transition it's gone through in the last several years, that has also been a good thing uh, for me to see at RTS. Let's, let's do this, this together. Yeah. No, not really. No. Uh, the best thing about RTS, the thing that I take with me is really the, the relationships. Uh, you know, it's great academic training, but uh, what I'll take from here are the relationships that I have with the professors and with the students. That's, that's really what I'm going to take, and I'm really, really grateful for the time I've had to build those relationships. Yes. Are you going to do the Lecrae for us here? No. Don't want to waste my life, life, life. Don't want to waste my life, life. Life, don't wanna waste my, don't wanna waste my life. I can't do anything. My time here at RTS um, has been one of the most sanctifying things um, for me. Um, it has stretched me um, and it has broken me in many places, but at the same time, I have seen um, where there's been so much purpose behind that brokenness and where the Lord um, has really used that. Um, and so it has made me stronger. Um, it has made me um, further understand and know who I am in the Lord um, and knowing other people better and understanding them as well. And I know that that has been through the Lord's uh, work in the friendships and through the professors um, and just the program itself. Um, it is rich with so much material um, and different things um, that really challenge you to think. Um, and I'm just so thankful um, as my gifts um, that the Lord has given me have further been encouraged by those that I've been surrounded with. They don't have any idea what I'm gonna say. Oh, you have no idea what No you're gonna idea. Say. Uh, let's see, what's remarkable about my time at RTS, we have a couple easy ones. We have two children born here. Let's see, about RTS itself, maybe the uh, academic learning, but there's also all the uh, interesting uh, personalities you have. We have uh, so many students from so many places. It's great getting to know these guys. And uh, you know, I enjoy talking to the younger guys. I told Bebo once I like talking to them because I like to hear their perspective. And he gave a very wonderful answer, I thought, in response to that. He says, or lack of perspective. I said, yes, exactly. It's also, uh, when we're here, we're able to talk to the professors. They're easy to speak with. I used to email Guy Waters uh, Norman Vincent Peale quotes daily because I knew he was his favorite theologian. I used to come up with crazy questions for Dr. Timmer just because I knew he'd have some kind of answer that was always going to be good. And, well, you don't have to do anything to egg Miles on because he's always high strung and ready to go. Hi, hi. Waving to camera. One of the things that I like about RTS is housing. Um, I like housing not in a sense of financial benefits, but in a sense of building up a strong, firm community. Um, students not only uh, meet up in classes and share a vast amount of uh, information, but the fellowship continues uh, after school hours. Um, students meet um, after school hours and share their lives, visions, and even, even their difficult moments. So in that sense, uh, RTS, um, living and studying at RTS Jackson provide both pastoral and academic experiences. So that's why I like RTS Jackson so much. Um, um, uh, um, um, um. <laughs> Well, from my very first campus visit when I was in this hall and Annie was with me, we came across Dr. Medeiros in the hall and he asked me, why am I here? And he said, you are here to know God more so that you can make him known. From the first moment I met him and meeting his wife and every conversation thereafter, that's what the conversation was about. My most special moment here at RTS was when my husband Andy first asked me out um, on a bench under the tree, singles housing area, the tree that's gone now. But, um, and yeah, I just look back on that moment all the time with a sweet sentiment, just a very special moment. Don't be recording. <laughs> I'm always recording. I think that the most special thing for me has been the relationships that have developed in my life with faculty and staff and that's truly been one of the most valuable things in my life as a whole and I think also the nurturing environment that has been here and that's come through those relationships. It's, it's been really unique for me both spiritually and just personally. The aspect that I have really enjoyed during my time at RTS is being surrounded daily by Christian faculty 
and friends who have encouraged me to grow spiritually and relationally. Probably uh, prayer coming, particularly when our friend classmate John got cancer, and uh, just the whole class and Dr. R. Uh, just putting our hands on him and praying and, and just petitioning to God to to heal him. And um, just several times since I've been here, I've really been in authentic prayer with others. You're not filming you, right? <laughs> For me, it was um, the relationships that I built here um, and how the Lord used them to um, to heal me of wounds um, through unhealthy relationships in the past and um, just really seeing the beauty of diversity in the body and, um, and how powerful that is when we're working in a unified way. Um, and I know that for me, it's just been a huge blessing and a gift and very humbling to, to be part of such a community that is so welcoming and accepting and... Um, just growing. I think uh, one of the most remarkable things that I experienced here was the strong uh, and consistent emphasis on the biblical languages. I loved how every professor, uh, whether we're talking about uh, Miles Van Pelt or Elias Medeiros, uh, just not only encouraged but exemplified uh, consistent and patient and persistent use of the biblical languages. Um, really, really, that's one of the things that I'll carry with me everywhere. I carry with me into the pulpit or into the lectern or, 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 or even into the coffee shop. I mean, if you're talking to somebody who's never read the Bible or heard the Bible, to have a, a clear grasp of the languages and what the Bible's saying in the Greek, in the Hebrew, in the, in, in the, the Aramaic, uh, has really just been the, the most remarkable thing I've, I've obtained here. The best thing is I met my husband here uh, when I started my PhD and and the other thing, um, I had a good fellowship with women, and, and every Tuesday we had our women's prayer meeting. So it was really um, helpful for me to keep studying. And the other thing, the professors are really <laughs> nice, and it was such a blessing for me to study here. And little Samuel, yay, say hello to everyone. Best thing about RTS was uh, being part of a family and we just all got so close and just laughing a lot and being crazy and getting each other through a lot of really tough stuff and um, having I've never had teachers care about me so much and they all were really invested in me so I just our little family and I love them the end <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> are you ready what I like about RTS is that nothing is ever scripted. The professors are genuinely concerned for the students and the staff is always friendly and helpful. I never feel like I'm being fed a line. RTS really embodies its motto, a mind for truth, a heart for God. Is that good? <laughs>